So here we have the BMW 320i Sport Touring Automatic M Sport uh, on a 70 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls from there. So the tailgate on this car will open electronically. You can do that by pressing the button on the tailgate or the button on the bottom of this key. As you approach the back of the car, you'll see we have reversing sensors. This car's also got a reversing camera. Plenty of boot space as well, along with the three individually folding rear seats, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. On the extreme left-hand side, we have the fuel gauge, followed by the speedometer, followed by a digital readout for the speedometer. Uh, on the right-hand side, we have the rev counter, and you can see the total miles for the car over there as well. They are 3,321. In the middle, we have the satellite navigation screen being displayed at the moment, although you can change that information should you wish to. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, we have controls for cruise control and speed limiter. On the right-hand side, we have stereo and phone controls. We then have the paddle to change down a gear and up a gear just behind the steering wheel there as well. Over in the center, we have the touch screen for the car. So we have, of course, satellite navigation. This is BMW's professional nav, which is this extra wide screen. We've done a video showing how the satellite navigation works, which you can find on our website and on our YouTube channel as well. You can, up here, uh, access your music. So we've got the radio. Uh, radio in this car will be DAB, uh, FM and AM radio. Uh, you can then access your own music. You can listen to music via Spotify. You've got uh, Bluetooth audio, so you can stream your music wirelessly. As well as it being a touchscreen up here, you can also do everything. You can see you're moving on the screen now, for example. You can do it all by using the iDrive system, which is essentially this dial and the collection of buttons that surround it. Uh, obviously far easier to use this while the car is in motion than trying to use a touchscreen. This is very intuitive, really nice, easy system to use. If I pop the car uh, into uh, reverse while showing you up on the screen there, you will see that we have the full color reversing camera as well as the parking sensors. They'll both do their jobs simultaneously. Uh, working our way down from that, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger temperature, which you can see there. You can go down and up from those buttons. So driver, passenger, you can decrease and increase the fan speed and then determine where you'd like the air to be distributed individually for both driver and passenger. When you're happy with those settings, you can turn your air conditioning on and off, or you can hit auto. The car will then take control of the fan speed and the direction of the air to maintain the temperatures that you've asked for. Uh, you can override that by pressing the auto button whenever you wish to, and you're back in a manual mode there, as you can see. We have a heated driver's seat and heated passenger seat, both have three different heat settings on each. Below that, we have the main volume for the stereo. You can set yourself some radio presets along here as well. This large section will open up to reveal a couple of cup holders, uh, USB input, and a 12 volt charging socket, as well as some additional storage back there as well. We then have the iDrive system that I mentioned before, the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. We can turn off the traction control. We can turn off the parking sensors. This button will turn off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. That system is now off. We can start and stop the engine from here. We have an electronic handbrake with auto hold function. And then finally, these three buttons will enable you to put the car in Eco Pro mode, Sport mode at the top, and then Comfort mode, which is your everyday driving mode in the middle just there. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.